Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be building a set of cornhole boards. And it's going to be pretty simple, but it's also going to look really nice. I'm going to start by breaking down all my raw material. I don't have a miter saw, so I'm going to be doing all this with my circular saw. Ideally, I would have a miter saw, I would set up a stop block, and I'd be able to cut these really quickly and repeatedly, but I don't have one. I finished cutting all the pieces for the base. I used the same method with the circular saw that I did on the short pieces for the long pieces. Now we're going to cut out the legs. So this piece was pretty much already cut down by Home Depot. So it's really small, it's easy to work with. I don't have enough room on my table saw to cross cut this on a table saw. Plus a cross cut is very dangerous. The hole on a cornhole board is nine inches from the top and dead center. I bought a hole saw off Amazon. You can find the link in the description. I don't think it's necessary. A jigsaw would be much better use of your money if you don't plan on making a lot of these. I cleaned up the edges with a router and a round over bit. Once I had the holes cut, I put my 45 degree chamfer bit in my router and I went around the edges of the entire top I don't know that this has any real purpose to it, except I thought it looked pretty cool. I'm using pocket holes to keep everything together and build the frame. So I'm marking off on, it, on all the boards where the pocket holes are gonna be. I already drew them up in SketchUp, so I know that they're evenly spaced apart. I got this giant T-square from Home Depot. I think you call it a T-square, but it made everything go really quickly when measuring stuff out it's it was super helpful and it was like 10 bucks if I can I'll throw a link in the description to the one at Home Depot and maybe one on Amazon too pocket holes make things go together really easy if you don't have one I totally recommend getting one it's worth the investment here I'm just marking out where I'm gonna drill my holes for the legs these are gonna be carriage bolts so this hole is slightly smaller than the bolt itself and I'm going to build the frame first and then attach it to the board. Now, of course, this is a little sped up, but you can see how quickly I put everything together with pocket holes. I just used a little bit of glue here. I don't really know that it's going to add any extra strength. The pocket holes are pretty strong themselves. This piece right here is going to be the pocket that the cornhole bags will be able to go in. I cut a groove down both sides. I did it the thickness of the wood that I had. I'm not sure exactly what size, I believe it was about 3 eighths, but I had it laying around so uh, next time I'll know exactly when I go to make a couple more of these. But it worked out really well and it slides pretty good with some sanding and it didn't take much extra work to add it. When putting the legs together, it helps to clamp down both the leg and the brace. I found that with the pocket holes, sometimes it tends to push up from whatever you're doing. So the top of the board needs to be 12 inches off the ground. So if I cut it right here, that'll sit flat on the ground and give me 12 inches. Good. Now we'll just take this over to the table saw, cut those angles out. I messed this part up here. Normally you would want to put the legs, cut the angle on the legs before you screw it together but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut that's a little bit longer and then walk it back into the line to make sure that I got my angle correctly it's almost 45 degrees but it's not exact so let's do this I spent about an hour sanding 
every surface of these boards. And now it's time for some finish. So what I'm gonna use is polycrylic. It's the most commonly used finish for cornhole boards. It gives it a really nice surface for the bags to slide on. After a couple coats of finish, that was pretty much it. These came out really nice and were super easy to build. I was able to make them in under three hours. For a limited time, I'm gonna be giving away the plants to this project, so check that out at my website, innovativetom.com. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks and take care.